Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I want to talk about the 1980 film Midnight. You may recognize this cover. The slip cover, which I don't own, has a woman screaming, hanging on clock hands with the clock hands moving. I think that's a little more iconic in terms of this release. So, as I said, it's from 1980. Uh, it's 94 minutes, <clears throat> and you can definitely tell it was filmed in the late 70s because it has that kind of 70s aesthetic to it. This was written and directed by John Russo, who was the co-writer of Night of the Living Dead and with George, with, um, George Romero. I almost said John Romero. With George Romero. Um, one of the actors is Lawrence Tierney, who was in Reservoir Dogs, as well as Tough Guys Don't Dance. Um, and I don't I think I know any of the other actors, and uh, there's some gore effects by Tom Savini. So the main point of the story is there's this young girl, she's supposed to be, I guess, 16 or 17, I think they say, and her father, her stepfather, excuse me, who comes home is Lawrence Tierney. He's the old gruff man with that voice from the Reservoir Dogs who gets together all the gangsters, and he is trying to sleep with her his own stepdaughter and he's drunk and she's trying to fight him and push him away and she very haphazardly hits him over the head with a phone and it looks really really silly and he gets knocked out and he starts snoring and she runs away and the movie pretty much starts with her running away trying to get picked up by like some guy who wants to sleep with her and then by these other young men who are in their 20s who are going on like a road trip and they pick her up and sort of feel bad for her situation they end up getting accosted by police and there's this bigger story of these like crazy satanic hillbillies almost in the vein of Texas Chainsaw Massacre very very slightly trying to kill them and capture them and it sort of takes a little bit of different things from different movies so you have a little bit of Texas Chainsaw you have this like satanic panic thing going on there's some touches of like racism and um, one of the guys who pick her up is black, so he's he's making comments about, well, if, if the person wasn't black, would you do this? So there's like lots of little bits of things going on in it. Um, the movie was also known as Backwoods Massacre, and it was a Section 3 video nasty in the UK, so it was not available for a while. It's scanned from the 4K, excuse me, into 4K from the negative, and it's uncut. Um, I don't hate the movie, but I don't love it. And the reason for that is I feel like it sort of never really gets its stride and everything comes off kind of low budget and, and goofy in a way. The main actress, who is supposed to be the young girl from high school, her name in the movie is... Oh, geez, I don't remember. It just says her actress name here. Anyway, um, her, uh, her character's name, excuse me. She's really not attractive. She has a really silly haircut. She looks very homely. And everyone in the film's like, oh, look at her, I wouldn't mind picking her up. And I just kept thinking, this girl's really not pretty, and it's weird that all these characters really want to be with her and say things and comment throughout the film. I'm no Brad Pitt, I get it. But this girl's not attractive, and they, they overly talk about how attractive she is in the film. Um, there's some cool scenes and some cool gore and violence of this, like, satanic kind of hillbilly family going after them, and then... The cops are involved, and they so it's it's a cool little movie. It's definitely low budget, but it has some interesting stuff, and it's it's a good like kind of late night cheesy horror film. You can do way worse. Uh, it's just not one of my favorites. It's sort of um, in the middle for me. The special features are making midnight, an interview with John Russo, uh, an interview with Samuel M. Sherman, an interview with John Amplis, an interview with makeup effects artist Tom Savini. Isolated scene selections, an audio interview with Mike Maze, and an alternate title card for Backwoods Massacre, a trailer, and a radio spot. Um, not a very long movie, but you know, average 94 minutes. It's decent. I, I wouldn't say I loved it, but if you like the, again, Texas Chainsaw Backwoods kind of evil aesthetic, you may like it. it it's pretty fun. It just doesn't reach that scary horror peak. And the goofiness and low budgetness kind of uh, damper it a little bit. So, decent movie. 
check it out. Let me know, guys, if you've seen Midnight, what you thought. I'd love to get your take on it. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.